Hi and welcome back to our photographycourse.net YouTube channel. In this video I'd like to talk to you about bokeh. That's that nice blurred effect you can see in the background here. If you're new to our channel please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date when we release new videos. There's a number of different things that affect the amount of blur that you can get in your photographs. Most photographers will associate that blur with using a wide aperture on their lens. In this section of the video we're using an 85mm f1.4 lens, so the background is really out of focus. Another factor that contributes to nice bokeh is the focal length of the lens. So the longer the lens, the easier it is to get that appearance of bokeh. And with the 85mm at f1.4, it's beautiful. If you're using a wider lens, it's more challenging to get that effect. Another thing that affects bokeh is the distance that the subject is from the background. So I'm standing quite a long way from the background here, so it's easy to get me sharp and the background out of focus. And then the fourth factor that contributes to bokeh is how close your subject is to the camera. Here I'm probably about a metre and a half away from the camera. Choosing the right background will help make your bokeh look more interesting too. Here with the plain wall you can't really tell if it's blurred or not. So now we've put the 35mm f1.4 lens on the camera and I'm about two metres or two and a half metres from the camera and this is recording using f1.4. Now we've moved the camera closer, it's about a metre away from me. This is still the 35mm at f1.4. And now we've adjusted the aperture to f5.6. Can you see what's happening to the background? And now this is set to f16, which is the narrowest aperture for this lens. And now we've put the 85mm lens back on the camera, and this is being recorded at f1.4. I'm in the same position as I was standing before, we've just moved the camera further away so you can see about the same amount of me in the frame. And now still with the 85mm we've adjusted the aperture to f5.6 and now our aperture setting is at f16 on the 85mm. And now with the aperture setting at f1.4 the background still isn't really that blurred because I'm so close to it. The camera hasn't moved, we've still got the 85mm at f1.4 I've just moved closer, so you can see the difference that that has made to the amount of bokeh in the background. So now with the 85mm still on the camera, it's set at f5.6. I'm probably a little over a metre from the camera, but I'm a good distance from the background, so we get that nice bokeh effect. And this is to demonstrate that you don't actually need a super wide aperture to get that effect. So long as your subject is a reasonable distance from the background, and relatively close to the camera, you can create a nice bokeh with just about any lens you've got. Using a wider angle lens, it does become more challenging to get the appearance of that bokeh in the background. So instead of using, a, say, a 24 millimeter focal length, zoom in to 50 or 70 millimeters, you're gonna have more chance of getting that nice soft background. So remember, use the widest aperture that you can, Use a longer focal length rather than a wider focal length. Keep your subject further from the background and closer to the camera. And this combination, you'll get that lovely bokeh effect. 